We're on our way to Pongo Pongo in American Samoa. I'm excited because when you set foot on an island like this, you get to experience the tranquility of the environment, the people and the culture. But that's what makes cruising so great is that you get to visit places like this and unwind. Samoa translates to sacred earth and you can see why this tropical paradise has earned its name with towering volcanic ridges hanging over the turquoise waters known as one of the largest national deep water harbours. Pongo Pongo is the port entry for the vessels arriving into America Samoa. There's an immediate attraction to the lush landscape and the exciting legend of flower pot rock. I'm heading to meet with my friend Paula, who is going to give me some lessons on local dishes like sapa suey, a variation on the classic Chinese chop suey. Paula, it's lovely to see you. How are you? I feel my. Happy on my. That means welcome. That means welcome to American Samoa. So now we are here at Entimona's store. This place just looks like a, a home. Yes, it is. Well, it is our it is our home. It's a home where we come to get food that we don't have to cook. Oh really? Yes. So is this like a takeaway place? It is definitely a takeaway place. Thank you so much. A lot of people will come after church to purchase food so that they don't have to cook their Sunday tonight. So every Sunday, you know, in our in our culture here, you go to church after church, and we come home and have a big feast, and that is what tonight is. So what would you recommend I try today to get a taste of the local food? Okay, well, here we have just a variety of our local starches. Okay. We have two different bananas, and then we have our taro. They have made the coconut sauce, the coconut milk here, which okay. is also called. Do you just pour that and on we'll it? just pour it on there. Pour it on the. Yes. Oh, it smells wonderful. Absolutely. This is one of our local favorites, which is sapa sui. Sapa sui. Okay. And sapa sui is it a Chinese inspired or a Korean inspired? It is Chinese inspired, but you know our locals have given it their little local twist. This is this coconut as well, this shrimp? Absolutely, it is coconut curry shrimp. And Timona store provided several different options because we have different noodles and so because this is a favorite at Antimona's we have the larger mm. lilia. The noodle's tender but it's still got a bite to it, a chewiness to it. And the first thing that stands out is that flavor of soy sauce. Now these coconut shrimp, the shrimp have been poached in coconut milk. And a little bit of curry. This may be the last thing I would have thought I'd be eating here. <laughs> in American Samoa. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely delicious. I never would have expected to see chop suey in American Samoa. And we've got a local chef who's going to teach us how to make your island favorite chop suey. Yes, I'd like to introduce Yose Tafu. Oh. I see you're a Dallas Cowboys fan as well. <laughs> how fantastic. <laughs> so chop suey is a staple food item. Every family may have their own spin on chop suey. You can find it in almost every event. So it is something that is easy to make, something that is quick to make, something where you open up your refrigerator and whatever vegetables and items you have in there, you throw it in the pot and then you've got your chop suey. This smells delicious. The colors are beautiful. I can't wait to try. It's aromatic, yeah. it's got great texture, it's absolutely delicious, mm. and what wow, a fantastic place to eat it. Mm -hmm. This is just stunning. You get to see this every single day. Thank you yeah. so much for your smiles, for your yeah, laughs, you. for your love. I love you. <laughs>
He says he loves me. <laughs> Paula, thank you so much for treating me to a taste of Pongo Pongo. I can't wait to go back the ship and design a meal for the passengers with the inspiration I've got. Well, we are so grateful that you, Chef John, have come down to our island and, and are able to share what we have to offer. So on that note, I would like to give this to you, a parting gift. Thank and you. thank you so much, Fafitai Lava. You too. When creating a dish as a chef, you want to immerse yourself in the culture and also learn about the local ingredients. One of the ingredients that stood out to me was coconut. It seems that it's a part of all Samoan food, which is perfect because I think coconut is going to fit quite well with a dish that myself and chef are working on. I'm excited to work with Chef T, the executive chef of Silk. He brings over 20 years of authentic Chinese food. He's worked in Thailand, Singapore. Chef also worked at Silk Kitchen and Bar on our sister ship, Crystal Symphony. Silk serves authentic Asian cuisine, surrounded by enchanting views of the sea and the shore savor Chinese-inspired alfresco dishes such as scallop shumai topped with caviar, perfectly cooked Chilean sea bass, Mongolian-style lamb chops, Kung Pao chicken, even duck salad. Joining me today for the taste test will be the hotel director, Hubert. The hotel director's job is to make sure that the ship is smoothly running he also makes sure each room is precise and impeccable. Also joining us for the taste testing will be Jesper, the food and beverage manager. He makes sure that all restaurants and six bars are running smoothly. He works hand in hand with the front house team and the culinary team. I'm excited about the taste test this afternoon but I have butterflies at the same time. The hotel director back in his day was a fantastic chef and Jesper brings so many years of culinary knowledge to this taste test. Here we go. Thank you so much for uh, being taste testers today. This is a recipe we're working on for this evening. We've redesigned the pot sticker as we know it. We went to several restaurants and we had chop suey. As we know here in Silk, we have a beautiful glass noodle dish. I didn't want to take the inspiration in that direction, We've redesigned the pot sticker using some of the ingredients that they use in chop suey. We finally dice some fresh lobster and add that to some ground chicken. Fresh ginger is going to add brightness to this recipe. We've finally diced it as well as some fresh garlic and we want to mince that nice and small. Scallions are going to add a bit of a bouquet and some finely chopped celery for crunch some salt, pepper, soy sauce. And we want to mix this together in a bowl, take a small amount and add that to an egg wonton wrapper, gently pleating the sides. So each fold makes it look ever so pretty for when the diner picks it up. Using the coconut milk as a foundation, we made a crepe batter and added it to the pan with the carefully folded pot stickers and let them cook for about seven minutes, you'll end up with this beautiful, crisp coconut crepe. As you can see, it's golden brown. It's wafer thin, so it's shatteringly crisp. Top these with some sesame seeds, some scallions, and finally some microgreen cilantro. 
We accompany these pot stickers with a balsamic and maple dipping sauce. Really? Amazing. Really? Absolutely, absolutely amazing. What did you like about it? Perfect uh, flavors. I love the, the crisp all around, not just on one side. Well, I think each each ingredient complements the other one. It's I think you were going to make about 300 for the night. Because we're going to go out and promote it. So oh, especially no. yesterday. So <laughs> you, better, you better go back to work. And, uh, I'm going back to work. Thank, <laughs> thank you. Thank you, huh? thank you so much. Thank you. I'm beyond delighted that they enjoyed the recipe. I'm really excited to serve all the diners this evening in Silk. I have to say, I learned a lot today from the culinary team at Silk about authentic Chinese food. So it's been a great day all around.